What's up guys? It's Riatium here, and today we are back in Skyrim. Now that's right you guys, and oh snap, is gonna be an awesome freaking day. But first, if you guys haven't done so already, be sure to follow me on all social medias and check out my website. Links are down there in the description. So guys, welcome back. So today, today we're gonna be taking a look at the top five collector's homes that I think are in my, my personal top five. Now what do I mean by collector's homes? Well, I'm talking about the ones where you can display basically everything you've ever wanted to. The Daedric artifacts, the armor mannequins, the weapon plaques, the shield plaques, all that stuff. This is, these are going to be the homes where you can store the most stuff, and I'll, I'll provide a little bit as to why I, why I like these homes so much, but truthfully, all of these homes are great for storing things. In fact, I don't know if putting a, a number on each of these is fair to any of them, because I love each and every single one of them, because you, they allow you to store so much stuff, but just because I wanted to go ahead and compile it into a list, we're going to go ahead and do this video today. So enough talking, it's time to get into this, guys. So enjoy it, and I will see you in the next video. Now, coming in at number 5 is Leveler's Tower. Now, Leveler's Tower is an interesting home situated in the mountains closest to Helgen. Now, this home, inside of it, the decor is completely different from any that I've ever seen in any home that I've showcased in the past. It's very upscale, I think is the word to say it, but inside is tons of armor mannequins for you to store things. There's places to store all of the things that you want as, you know, in boxes. There's sorting mechanics. There's there's an insane amount of organization inside of the Leveler's Tower. Not to mention, it's kind of a cool place to just come in and hang out because there are so many rooms and things that you can see inside of here. In fact, I, I very much, I highly recommend you watch the actual showcase of the video or of the house itself because it shows off just how much stuff is inside of Leveler's Tower. The exterior of the home doesn't give off a whole lot, but the inside is insane. And that's why it's here at number five. Now, coming in at number 4 is Hermit Mountain Cottage. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Hermit Mountain Cottage is a fairly small home, and yes, indeed it is. In fact, the little clip that we have to watch here is actually quite short, but on the inside of Hermit Mountain Cottage, there is a large orange wall that you can store a lot of the Daedric artifacts in, as well as, you know, some amulets and stuff like that. So it's not as intensive as some of the, you know, the Castle Shellblads or the Deus Mons or, you know, anything like that, where you have thousands of armor mannequins and and all of that stuff but it's more so of a collector's home where they're not too big into collecting but they want to display what they have and I think that's a nice thing to be able to have it's a nice option to be able to have with a home of this size because it is quite small but the inside of it just packs so much custom text so many custom textures into it it makes it feel very homey and it allows you to store quite a few things inside of there even though the home is still fairly small that's why it's here at number four Now, coming in here at number three is Dovahkiin Keep. Now, Dovahkiin Keep has actually showed up in a couple of other of the top five um, homes, as well as I think the top 30 that I did, but Dovahkiin Keep is a very large castle-esque home 
kind of in the woods. It's just kind of in the woods. It's based off of the, the Mistvale Keep from Riften, but the home itself is home to quite a few armor mannequins as well as weapon plaques and weapon racks. So it's more so for the collector of weapons and armors rather than the Daedric and Adric artifacts. Although I do believe there are places inside of Dovahkiin Keep to store some of these artifacts. Whereas with Deus Mons and you, you know, the shell blads where you have literally enough room to store every single thing in freaking Skyrim, these homes, kind of like the Hermit Mountain Cottages and the Dovahkiin Keeps and the Leveler's Towers, you know, they're more so tailored to specific people wanting to, wanting to store specific things. That's why it's here at number three. Now, coming in here at number two is a massive, massive home in the shape of Deus Mons. Now, Deus Mons is, it's been compared to Shellblad Castle in the past, probably mostly by myself, um, and probably some other people who play Skyrim, but this home is massive. Everything on the inside of it that it has to offer is insane. There's so much inside of Deus Mons that it's, I mean, I'm surprised we were able to do it in one showcase, and I even think we missed a few things in that showcase, but even still, this home has everything you could possibly need as far as storage goes, as far as looks. You know, if you want to be the master of everything and just own everything in Skyrim, this might be the home for you because there's pretty much every everything you could possibly need inside of Deus Mons. Now, it was hard for me to choose between the number one and the number two spot, but I think, like I said in the beginning of today's video, I think all of these homes are great and anyone would be happy to have these in their load order, but this is why uh, Deus Mons is at number two. And coming in at number one shouldn't be any surprise to anybody who's seen my Let's Play or anything like that. Shellblad Castle is one of my favorite places to store everything. I mean, there is enough room in there to store enough armor for armies to come. You got tons of storage inside of, you know, a giant armory. You have a, you know, hall, kind of a, a hall of war where you can store stuff like that. You have a trophy room. You have a vault where you can store all of your Daedric and Adric artifacts, your paragons, your... You can store everything, guys. Castle Shellblad and Shellblad Castle is my favorite collector's home, as it is my favorite castle as well, but, um... It's just a great home to have because it's it, it, it served me well. I'm a little bit biased just because I use this for so much, but this home is certainly one that uh, is, it deserves to be on the top of this list. So with that being said, guys, I very much hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.